Greetings, welcome back. I'm carrying on with the crossheads, as you may expect from the last episode. I've got the uh, first one done, so I'm on to the second one. I had some lovely comments in the last video about how it wasn't that boring, and I really appreciate that. The video didn't really show how long it took to do it. So standing here watching it slowly go in. It's fun the first couple of times, but then it gets a little, um, well, boring. At least the sun is shining. Kind of makes it awkward for the videos, but lighting and whatnot. Let's see where we're at. Oh, we've got a long way to go. I've just timed it. That cup just took 20 minutes. Yep, 20 minutes. I'll see you when I finished. So we've now got the crossheads machined down on this end like you've just seen in the lathe and looks quite smart. Now what we've got to do is skim these sides because we've got uh, a couple of holes to put in. As you can see I'm drawing here and uh, we need those flat. So we've got to find the centre. As we found the, the centre hole before, we use the ends here and here. So we're going to use that again. Gently take off the roughness. That's all we're going to do. We're not going to take too much off and then we'll probably do this top as well. So when I come to machine the slot, we've got two data edges to find the middle. Hopefully, that's the plan. So uh, I'll get set up and we'll get milling, eh? This is a carbide cutter. Trying to take as little as possible off. Oh, we've not even touched it there.
tiny bit more to come off. Could really do with a long series. It's not really brilliant, it rubbing up here. done. Now I'm going to do this top section. Doesn't need much to come off because it's got all it's got really is a bow in the middle so we'll try to get rid of that so I've got a nice datum edge for when I put the slot in the middle which is coming up pretty quick so uh, I'll get that done. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's the first time I've used them big parallels. Bobby Dazzler. both done to the same now so I can take these top sections off we can get the holes in the bottom bit where they need to be and we can put the slot in here right so I finally got this set up in here it took me some head scratching to get this a couple of parallels inside and it sat on like this edge here on one parallel and up here on the other bit of emery paper at the back to protect this face because I, I don't really want to mark this face now the biggest thing here is I've got to remember that these are 
handed. Next job is to put these holes in here, which that's a 5 8 reamed hole. Uh, that was a half inch by 26 TPI. We're not going to use that, we're going to use um, a metric fine thread. There we are. Beautiful. Brand new M12 by 1.25 tap. The drawing shows the threaded hole as half inch for 26 TPI. You can tell it's a new tap. beautiful right let's get the two holes that go in here these two holes are for a plate that hold the nut that goes in here or the pin from spinning m3 that's quite small i suppose if m3 doesn't work we can always drill it out and put a bigger one in but m3 better not put too big of a dimple in four one We're not used to such small drills. Oh, this is going to be scary. nice m3 feet seems a bit small though so the last thing to do on this part of the crosshead is to drill the hole and uh, put a thread in it but we have to get it exactly plumb in each direction and i think i've got it close enough 
from zero. So it moves about a quarter of a thou over that distance. And I think the surface is just a little bit rough for it, but it's close enough. And this way, it doesn't really move. It's just the surface it's picking up. So I'm happy that that is plumb enough to drill and thread that hole. Don't forget, if you like what you're seeing on the channel at the moment, then uh, hit that like button. And that'll help it spread around to like-minded folks, just like your good selves. Who are interested in people building steam engines? Or, well, mainly just one. There we are. Right, let's open that up. You can always put a comment as well down below. It's always interesting to read what you put. You know, you could comment on all sorts of things. I'd prefer it about the video. What you're most looking forward to seeing in the build? What's been your favourite part? You know, anything. And I'd just like to say a huge thank you to all those that have donated to the channel. I really appreciate it. It's amazing that you feel that I'm worthy of your hard-earned money. You know, everything that you donate to the channel will go back into the channel. It will go on this build. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Why? Why? Why?